Thank you for joining us. I'm Naiba Reynoso. In this episode, an urgent plea for blood donations, plus a visit to the Santa Fe Dam Recreational Area. But first, a popular after-school program offers an array of activities to keep teenagers entertained and out of trouble. It's one spot where they can't wait to hang out. Take a look. Our spot was launched in 2019 after a few different focus groups that we've held with LA County Youth. We asked them questions about what the need was in their community, what they were looking for in after school program, um, and even gave them the opportunity to name the actual program itself. Our spot is an acronym for Social Places and Opportunities for Teens. Our spot is a free after school program for the ages of 12 to 18 years old. We have our music and beats program every Tuesday and Friday from 4 to 5.30. We gather around, we have instruments, we have our beat process in the back, so they potential DJs in the house. <laughs> it's cool, like I've never seen like a park do this. So like when they started doing this, I, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And it's pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Of all the stuff you can do. The reason why we do these music programs is for us to get out more, to learn more than there's other than just music, you know, get to learn like and open your brain. And for us to just, you know, hang out and get a community together, this music, this little program that which our spot can provide us, just gets us like out. It's a really great scene out here. Teenagers, you know, they have a place to come and hang out um, and do, you know, learn really interesting skills and art. Pro oh, programs and also just, you know, have fun with their friends and eat pizza and stuff. <laughs> we want to really build and empower and let these kids know that there's so much more behind the four blocks that they're used to. We really want to emphasize that they have so much leadership, they have so much potential, they're the future generation that will be leading us tomorrow. County Parks offer something for people of all walks of life. We sat down with Department Director Norma Gonzalez to learn more about this treasured county asset and what's in store for those looking to get outdoors. Here's more. And today we are here with Norma Edith Garcia Gonzalez, Director of the County of Los Angeles Department of Parks and Recreation. Thank you so much for being here with us. Happy to be here and talk about parks. We love parks. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> and the Board of Supervisors is fully committed to park equity across the county. How is that vision being implemented? In 2016, the Board of Supervisors invested a significant amount of money to gain information and really uh, go out to the community and tell us and to hear from the community about what they wanted to see in their parks, where parks were missing. And so we developed the LA County Parks Comprehensive Needs Assessment. And that is our guiding star that is helping us to make park investments, whether acquiring land or improving parks with new park amenities. The state dedicated nearly $7 million for parks. How will that money be allocated? The state of California voters passed Proposition 68. Um, and throughout the state uh, committed to making investment in parks and we have been so fortunate at LA County, there's such a uh, need for parkland. I'm very excited that we're gonna build several new parks in LA County. So in the next couple of years, you'll see new parks in South LA, in the North County, in the East portion of the county. But we're also making improvements to one of our oldest parks, like Salazar Park, located in the heart of East Los Angeles. Um, and so you'll see uh, a process where the community came together to re-envision amenities that they'd like to see, a splash pad for children. Um, our seniors in our community wanted a gathering plaza in the front of the park where we could have festivals and farmers markets. So this is really all community led. And we're very excited also, you know, aquatic facilities in South Whittier and San Gabriel Valley. Why is that so important for our communities? With climate change, with COVID, we saw over a 30% increase in park use. And our increase really happened in our communities that have a dire need for parkland. Our families couldn't go traveling like they normally did. They couldn't go um, to indoor movies. And so parks became that respite for people to, to play, 
to enjoy time together, to maybe get out of the four walls of their apartment or their home and get some fresh air and to exercise. So really parks became the lifeline of Los Angeles County and, and uh, throughout the nation. And so there is a considerable effort to ensure that parks continue to be accessible and that our program be relevant to the communities that we serve. How many hiking trails and parks does LA County have? Los Angeles County, the Department of Parks and Recreation is one of the most dynamic park systems in the country. We have over 182 parks um, and our parks have recreational lakes for boating, for swimming. Um, we have 20 golf courses. We have over 475 sport amenities, over 60 community centers, senior centers, 210 miles of trails but also natural areas as well. Um, and wildlife preserves and large regional parks that host a, a series of amenities. So our park and recreation system has a little bit to offer everyone. And Norma, you mentioned that because of COVID, a lot of people, including myself, are taking advantage of the beautiful parks that LA County has to offer, and they're going hiking or running. Um, talk to us about what are what's what kind of precautionary measures, or what should we do? What should we know because we're still in COVID before we head to the park? That is a great question, and we want to make sure that our parks are safe for all our users. And so we want to make sure that they're bringing their own water bottle at this time um, and not to use the drinking fountains. We want them to use and bring their masks. And of course, while they're, um, while they're in an activity like a playground where there may be lots of other people in the playground, we want them to keep um, their mask on. If they're engaging in an activity that is, is extraneous, they could take their mask down, but we want them to make sure that they're doing it when there are not a lot of people around. But we want LA County residents of all ages to come out and explore your local LA County park. Thank you. And we know that there's these gorgeous areas that all of us can enjoy. If people want more information on how they can discover new hiking trails or new parks close to their area, where can they get that information? go to our website, parks.lacounty.gov. But we also have a very dynamic social media feed. And so every week we are highlighting a natural area, a park and open space that perhaps Los Angeles County residents did not know existed and is here in LA County. There's also amazing programs that we can look into and participate in, right? Absolutely, LA County Parks offers programming for everyone. And we want to make sure that our communities are taking advantage of all that we have to offer, especially our free programming. We have after school free programming drop in for youth eight to 14. We have a dynamic teen program where we're offering music making, DJing, art opportunities, very, very fun programming. We also just are kicking off on February 11th, a program for the early evening from 5 to 7.30, free drop-in at all of your parks, as well as senior programs, aquatic senior programs uh, for exercising, um, and the Board of Supervisors is providing a scholarship for our basketball leagues, um, which are starting soon. So there's something for everyone at LA County Parks. Come and visit us. Thank you so much for being here. We hope to talk to you soon. Thank you. A landmark Hollywood theater was transformed into a blood donation site as public health officials raised the alarm on a national blood shortage. Well, the American Red Cross is here today at the Hollywood Pantages Theater. Uh, currently, we're experiencing a national blood crisis where blood donations are being outpaced by hospital demand. We're closed to the public right now for, for shows. And even when we were open from August through December, we were still having blood drives uh, on a monthly basis. Today, um, it's actually, it's my birthday. So, you know, I feel like it's, you know, it's feeling great to doing good. A person or the patient that's using this, they really like can use it. So I feel great that I'm doing good without spending anything. There's a blood shortage and, you know, you might not be able to give money. You might not be able to give 
food. You might not be able to give other things, but you can give an hour of your time. And if you're eligible, you can give blood and it's a huge uh, help to our community right here in LA where we're having a major shortage. So 45 units of blood, uh, that could save up to 135 lives. One unit of blood is capable of saving up to three lives. Thanks for joining us. We leave you now with scenes from the Santa Fe Dam Recreational Area, nestled at the foot of the San Gabriel Mountains, considered one of the hidden jewels of Southern California. We'll see you next time on LA County Close Up.